It's Marvel Comics' amazing Spider-Man like you've never seen him before in four action-packed video games. Spider-Man comes to the NES in Revenge of the Sinister Six. Dr. Octopus has assembled Electro, Mysterio, Hobgoblin, and more. Only you can disarm his evil plan to rule the world. For portable web-swinging action, it's Spider-Man 2 for Game Boy and Spider-Man for Game Gear. You'll need your spider sense when you take on supervillains Venom and Carnage. Get ready as Marvel Comics Dream Team bursts onto Super Nintendo in Spider-Man and the X-Men in Arcade's Revenge. It'll take all your mutant powers, Spidey's webs, Wolverine's adamantium claws, Cyclops' optic blasts, Storm's lightning and Gambit's exploding cards to foil Arcade's diabolical plot. Marvel Comics Amazing Spider-Man on NES, Game Boy, Game Gear, and now Super Nintendo. If this is too much action for you, take it up with this guy. <laughs> if you think superheroes like me can fight all your battles for you, think again. Voting for your local, state, and federal representative lets you choose who's on your side in all the issues we face today. From the little ones to the really big ones, too. But before you can vote, you need to register. So do it now. For registration forms or information on how to register, visit your local participating video store. Have a voice in your future. Register. And vote. <laughs> and Tom Spider-Man sent you. This is Stan Lee of Marvel Comics warning you to look around you. Your classmates, your friends, you never know which one of them may be a mutant. A person born with strange and wondrous powers. Now some mutants, like the X-Men, use their special gifts for good. But then there are the terrorist mutants who plan to destroy the human race. Mutants. I hate them. Take this mutie we're hauling tonight, for example. He's too dangerous to live. I am Magneto. Release me. I command it. I've never seen anything like it. His power. He's a mutant. A stinking mutant. He doesn't deserve to live on the same planet as normal, decent human beings. When the Brotherhood of Mutant Terrorists and I are through, humans will no longer have a place on planet Earth. Why, you rotten... <laughs> The convoy! It's sinking! Men are so helpless against the mental powers of the White Queen. We're in the middle of the highway! There's no water! Not water, sir! It's the highway itself! I know it sounds crazy, but it's turning into quicksand! Quicksand? Quicksand? Why, what kind of a bully? Uh, uh, uh. Magneto, your deliverance is... Hold it, mutant! What are you doing? Swatting a gnat! Colonel Chaffee! Colonel Chaffee! Colonel, are you all right, sir? With that murderous mutant on the loose, son, none of us are gonna be all right! Driver, would you wait here for me? Forget it! Kid, this place gives me the creeps. Give me the creeps, too. Dear Miss Pride, it has come to my attention that you have a mutant power, the ability to walk through solid matter. I believe you call it phasing. <sighs> Hello? Is anyone here? This way, Miss Pride. Who? What are you? Don't be startled. 
My mind is projecting an image of myself for you to follow. I am Professor Charles Xavier, also known as Professor X. I and those who have joined me are known as the X-Men. X-Men? But, but I thought the X-Men were... Mutants? Yes. But how do you know about, about what I can do? All the things you mentioned in this letter, no one knows. Not even my parents. This is Cerebro, a powerful computer with a special circuit which can detect the unique brain waves emitted by mutants. That is how I found you. Then, then I really am a mutant. I'm a freak. No, no, my dear. We mutants are not freaks. I don't understand. And I'm afraid, too. At one point, we were all afraid, Kitty. Come. We'll meet the others. This is the control center for the danger room. And down there is the danger room itself, where the X-Men train to improve their mutant skills by engaging in simulated combat provided by a combination of holograms and robotics. This is Scott Summers, better known as Cyclops. His eyes shoot concentrated beams of pure energy. Next is Peter Rasputin. His code name is Colossus. Don't worry, Kitty, as Colossus Peter is impervious to harm. <laughs> He's good. Next, meet Alison Blair, the Dazzler. She can transform sound into powerful bolts of light. Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler has mastered the art of line of sight teleportation. That's Wolverine with razor like adamantium claws. They're sharp enough to slice through almost any substance known to man. Now we meet Storm, whose mutant ability to control weather itself is still not completely understood. Finally, as for me, I have the ability to see into people's minds. Their minds? Oh, don't worry, child. I don't use my gift recklessly. I think you'll find my X-Men a very pleasant group once you get to know them, Miss Pride. Scott, I have someone up here I'd like you all to meet. Sure thing, Professor. <laughs> ah, Fräulein, what a lovely vision you are. Please allow me. Professor? Uh, uh, Kitty, you're phasing. Uh, X-Men, welcome Kitty Pride. I, I'm sorry. I guess I've phased through the computer. She has the power to walk through solid objects, a power known as phasing. Kids! Oh, it is good, little one. Colossus like rain. <laughs> Fräulein, you left before I could properly welcome you. Welcome her. Wait, she's not joining the X-Men, is she? She's just a kid. Wolverine, can't you see the girl is scared? Don't you remember what it was like when you first discovered you were a mutant? I back off! Just don't want to have to witness some little... What's that? Red alarm. It's a mutant alert. Our training session's over. We're needed. Let's go! Oh. Wait for me! Well, friend, they fell for it. You may begin, Juggernaut. All right! And let nothing stand in your way. People. Magneto, master of magnetism. And I'm sorry to say my stepbrother, Juggernaut. You know them? Yes, it is the X-Men's sworn duty to protect mankind by battling Magneto and his evil terrorist mutants. If Magneto should win, the human race will become slaves of the evil mutants. Kitty, you're scrambling Cerebro's defensive circuits. They're inside the mansion. What do we do? Magneto cannot hide his thoughts from me. What he wants is Cerebro's mutant power circuit. Can we stop him? We're about to find out. Quickly, child, take it. Protect the circuit at all costs. 
What's wrong, Charlie? No warm welcome for your dear stepbrother? You've always been welcome in my home, Kane. It's your choice of friends, I question. Juggernaut has chosen his friends well, Xavier. Ah, the mutant power circuit. Give it to me, girl! Kitty, face out! Use your power, Kitty! Give it to me now, or suffer later! Where do you think you're going, dear stepbrother? My child, you are being foolish! Normal humans hate you for being what you are! Why not join me? No! Normal humans and mutants don't have to be enemies! I'll never join you! Never! That's too bad, my dear. Truly tragic, yes! <laughs> the world is mine. Meanwhile, unaware of Magneto's attack on the headquarters, the X-Men race to the Deep Space Observatory for a showdown with Magneto's deadly allies, the Blob and Pyro. The fire! It's coming closer! What do you want? Nothing! Just take over Earth! Now, now, Blob! After all, once we get the tracking coordinates for the Scorpio Comet, his world will... His world will what, Pyro? Ah, we've been expecting you. Expecting us? Colossus, take care of this. No power on Earth can move the blob. Back off, X-Men. Please help us. Let the hostages go, Pyro. This doesn't concern them. Wrong, Ruby Eyes. In two days, it'll concern every human on Earth. Wait till I get my claws on him. He'll be talking out the other side. Look out! Here you are, Liebchen. Thank you. Hey, stay away, you filthy mutants! Lob and Pyro got what they came for. Whatever it was, it poses a threat to the whole human race. Those mutants are in there! Cover all the exits! That's our cue. Let's go! Hang on, everyone! Has the computer tracking system locked onto the comet? Yes, Master. Everything is ready, just as you ordered. <laughs> Excellent. Place Cerebro's power circuit in the magnetron. Get away from me, beast. <laughs> Scorpio is now in range. <laughs> I did it, Master. I did good, didn't I? <laughs> yes, Toad. Now make yourself useful. Go play in an airlock. All right, mister. Okay, play in the airlock. Oh, come here. <laughs> Professor? Kitty? Professor X? Here! I found him! Where should I put him? Here! <laughs> Kitty. Where's Kitty? Kitty! No! No! Get away from me! Kitty, it's okay. You're safe now. Then it's all been real. Oh, of course it's all been real. Get with it. The X-Men don't have room for whiny brats. Just who are you calling whiny? I'll show you. I'll... Hold it, Kitty. Wolverine may not be Mr. Sunshine, but he isn't your enemy. That's right. Magneto's the enemy. Magneto. Professor X. Where is he? Is he all right? I... Yes, Kitty. I'm fine. Professor! Professor! Oh, I'm so happy to see you. But I failed you. I failed you all. Magneto has the circuit. You didn't fail, my child. None of us would have had a chance alone against Magneto. We must discover exactly what Magneto is up to before it's too late. Power circuit works. I can feel the energy, the power. I have located Magneto. The power. The power. Professor. I've done it. I've captured the Scorpio Comet. 
In less than a day, most of the human race will be wiped out. The mutants will rule the Earth! This is it, true believers. Unless the X-Men can stop Magneto, mankind is doomed. What's happened? Are you all right? What is it? Magneto. He's changed the course of the comet Scorpio directly towards Earth. The, the power, it hit me like a fist. If Scorpio strikes Earth, it'll send up a cloud of dust and debris, which will block out the sun for years. And our planet will be plunged into the Ice Age. And we've got to stop it. Hold it! The kid stays here. She'll just get in the way. I will not. And stop calling me a kid. I am 14 years old. I'm sorry, Kitty. But Wolverine's right. You haven't been trained. It's much too dangerous. You'll stay here. Until later, my child. Oh, yeah? I'll show you. I'll show you all. It's reported to be the Comet Scorpio. Until a few short hours ago, it was only a harmless scientific curiosity. If Scorpio comes any closer, it will mean disaster. Professor, we're now in a parking orbit. All right, suit up. Storm, when I blow the airlock, we'll need your powers to keep the atmosphere inside the asteroid. Check. You can come out now. You were told to remain at the mansion. I couldn't. It's my fault Magneto has the power circuit. I've got to help stop him. What you plan to do is very dangerous. I have to help. The world Magneto wants to destroy is my world too. Oh, Professor, wish me luck. Good luck, my dear. Good luck to us all. Wolverine, once inside us to Magneto. Are we going to talk about this all day or do it? We're going to do it. The X-Men. Stop them! <laughs> this way! <laughs> G'day! Welcome to Asteroid M! Don't you just love a good Barbie? Leave this one to the Dazzler. Uh. Ah, ah, ah. You guys go on. Ah. Which way now? <laughs> this way, kiddies. Ah, if you can. Don't worry about us, Dingo. We'll make sure we can. Ah. <laughs> managed to get past our little welcoming committee, but you go no further. And who is going to stop us? Me, Juggernaut! Gentlemen, welcome. is where you'll stop. Nothing moves the blob. And I wouldn't dream of trying. Auf Wiedersehen. We're go. Hello, Nightcrawler. Fascinating, isn't it? Earth shall be destroyed in precisely three minutes. Not if I can help it. Ah, but you can't. No one can. Farewell, X-Man. <laughs> Circuit! You made me break the circuit! Now nothing can change the comet's course! Kitty, strike now! Magneto's in position! <laughs> Nightcrawler, the circuit! Your own body is recharging the circuit! Now we can use Magneto's own power to change the comet's course! You blundering juvenile! Do you have any idea what you've done? Yes! I've just stopped a madman from destroying the Earth. 
And now Scorpio will destroy this base instead. But you still lose. Nightcrawler's own body must continue to complete that circuit, or the comet will change course back to Earth. Although you've won, Nightcrawler must die. Kitty, join the others quickly. I have a plan. Nightcrawler, listen to me. I'll keep the Blackbird on your view screen. Your timing must be flawless. You have to teleport just before the comet hits. Do you understand? Of course, Professor. Now, Nightcrawler, now you've waited too long. He's gone. There. He's alive! Not for long. He's entering the Earth's atmosphere. He'll burn up. Not if we can get the grappling beams to him. <laughs> Better hurry! It's getting plenty warm in this suit! Fire the grappling beams! Where is he? Professor? He's... he's gone. No, no. He can't be dead. He just can't be. No! I was so mean to him. Now I can never make it up to him. I just can't believe it. Nightcrawler is... What's that? Back there! <laughs> Nightcrawler, my little Tavarish. You're not dead after all, no? <laughs> I would hope not. But I would have been. If not for Kitty Pride. Thank you. That was the bravest, most unselfish thing I've ever seen in my life. Don't you agree? <laughs> well, Wolverine, you were against Kitty being a member of the team. What do you think now? So the kid got lucky that don't make her an X-Man. Not yet. Yes, the X-Men have won, but only for now. Magneto is still out there, waiting, planning, plotting the destruction of the human race. But whatever the challenge, whatever the peril, the X-Men will be there. 